Metro Manila's toll roads and expressways to improve mobility and connectivity to and from Metro Manila to spurs accessibility to surrounding areas and to spread out and accommodate the growing population. The Philippine government, with the partnership with the private sector, will build toll roads and expressways. Upon completion of these projects, Metro Manila will see significant positive impact economically, socially, and financially. Traffic will significantly improve as travel time is significantly reduced, which will mean an equivalent saving of 1.9 billion pesos a day. Vehicle operation will also save 2.1 billion per day. These will help the growth of Metro Manila's dynamic economy. The game-changing project of Metro Manila is the 2x3 lanes toll expressway of Skyway Stage 3 is one of the country's largest and most ambitious infrastructure projects. This megastructure is an impressive feat of Filipino engineering, skill, and will. A 17.9-kilometer elevated expressway extending Skyway 1 and 2 from Bundia all the way to North Luzon Expressway. It has eight access points that traverse and connect Metro Manila's most populous cities. Makati, Manila, San Juan, and Quezon City. Skyway Stage 3 is the long-awaited solution to solving traffic, not just on EDSA, but also within the major thoroughfares in Metro Manila. It will cut travel time from South Luzon Expressway at Susana Heights in Muntinlupa, to the Balintawak Toll Plaza of the North Luzon Expressway, to just 20 minutes. Magallanes to Balintawak will take only 15 minutes from 2 hours. Balintawak to Naya in 15 minutes. While Balintawak to Makati in 10 minutes. Before the project could be fully completed, a major redesign had to be done at the Skyway 3's northernmost end. The original endpoint at Abunifacio was no longer feasible. In the last 20 years, traffic along EDSA in Balintawak had significantly increased. If motorists coming from Skyway 3 still had to go down on EDSA and pass through the old Balintawak Cloverleaf to get to NLEX, the benefits of Skyway 3 would be negated. With the help of DPWH, San Miguel Corporation was allowed to make a final push. The Skyway 3 was extended over EDSA Balintawak. Fulfilling the goal of seamlessly linking North and South Luzon. This will also enable to connect to both northbound and southbound lanes of Skyway 3 to C3 Road, providing access to and from major cities in the metro. This is the commitment of San Miguel Corporation to realize the dream of linking North and South Luzon, and helping solve the decades-long traffic problem of Metro Manila, with no government guarantees or subsidies. The project is privately built and funded by Filipino conglomerate San Miguel Corporation. NLEX, South Lex Connector Road Project an 8-kilometer all-elevated four-lane toll expressway extending the NLEX southward from the end of Segment 10 in C3 Road, in Caloocan City to PUP Santa Mesa Manila and connecting to the Skyway Stage 3, and mostly traversing the PNR rail track. The project includes two interchanges located at C3 Road, 5th Avenue, in Caloocan and Espana, Manila. This project aims to stimulate development in Manila, Caloocan, Malabon and Navotas, as well as its surrounding areas. Decongest Metro Manila traffic, provide trucks with 24-7 alternative route and resolve truck van problems. Provide better access to Manila Ports, North Harbor, and Airports, Naya and Clark. And complete the connection of NLEX with SLEX.
At the end of construction, the project is expected to reduce travel time from S-Lex to N-Lex from 2 hours to just 20 minutes. The 23.3 billion pesos project is financed privately by North Luzon Expressway Corporation, with the partnership with the Philippines Department of Public Works and Highways. The NLEX Harbor Link. The project involves the 21.6 km extension of the NLEX eastward from Valenzuela City, to M. Lopez Boulevard, R10 and westward from Valenzuela City to Commonwealth Avenue in Quezon City. The NLEX C5 Segment 8.2 is a 7.5-kilometer expressway that will link C5 and Commonwealth Avenue to NLEX. This project is seen to decongest Metro Manila by providing alternative access to main lane NLEX to further east of Metro Manila by passing Edsa and Balintawak Toll Plaza. Segment 10 is the second and final component of the NLEX Harbor Link. This engineering marvel will serve as a bridge to the harbor area, reducing travel time to NLEX Valenzuela to Radial Road 10 from 23 minutes to just 11 minutes, enabling unimpeded delivery of goods 24 7. The expanded NLEX Harbor Link will certainly boost the government's traffic decongestion efforts in Metro Manila and other major thoroughfares. This will be an alternative route between Quezon City and Manila. From the Mindanao Toll Plaza, motorists may now reach the port area in Manila in about 15 to 20 minutes. Another project is the Southeast Metro Manila Expressway. Is new toll road project that will connect the province of Rizal to the rest of Metro Manila and Calabarzo. It will provide a faster alternate route for Rizal motorists and commuters, who are now constrained to pass through the heavily traffic congested EDSA and C5 when traveling to north or south of the metro. Southeast Metro Manila Expressway spans 34 kilometers of semi-elevated 2 by 3 lane tollway from Skyway FTI to Batasang Pombonza Complex in Quezon City. It shall pass to the populated areas of Tagui, Tai Tai, Antipolo, San Mateo, and Quezon City. By close proximity, it would also benefit motorists to and from the surrounding areas of Metro Manila and Rizal Province. The project consists of six sections and five interchanges. Located at Skyway FTI, C5, C6 Tagui, Ortigas Avenue Extension, and Marcos Highway. The main toll plaza is located around 3 kilometers from Batasang Pombonza Complex. These are the express tollway within Metro Manila. These projects will make Philippines another step closer to a better tomorrow. <laughs>